Clyde Gibbons with Treasures of Fort Pierce and we have found another treasure and that is Aiden Silvers and he's going to tell us a little bit about himself and we're going to actually talk about his poetry. He's just got amazing talent um, in writing just like his father. So Aiden Silvers, thank you for letting us come in and yeah. tell us a little bit about yourself. Oh, I'm 18 years old. I have a disease called spinal muscular atrophy. And it's kind of hard to explain right off the top of my head, but if you read my bio, it kind of explains a little bit about that. But, uh, yeah, I've been writing some poems about three weeks ago. And I don't know how I write them, I guess. I just got my dad's jeans. But I write them in the middle of the night when everybody's asleep. And I can't sleep, so I just take a little poem. Memorize it the next day right now. That's very cool. Now you have five brothers and sisters. Yes. You're the oldest. Three sisters and two brothers. And the youngest is? Twelve weeks. Twelve weeks. Wow. How is, what's it like being in a big family like this? Uh, it gets pretty crazy at some times, but everybody helps each other out. All the kids help each other and help the babies when they need bottles or something. And change diapers and all that good stuff. And I know I know you all were homeschooled. Um, and mm -hmm. were you homeschooled when you were? Yeah, I, actually I just finished school. And uh, we, I would get on the computer and do most of mine. And I would help my sisters out with their schoolwork if they needed it. But uh, it, it was all right, I guess, because you can get up when you want and eat and then do schoolwork for a while. <laughs> Four hours or so. So you're up usually during the middle of the night and mm -hmm. you think about your inspiration, where does that come from in doing the poems? Well, I, I don't know really where my inspiration comes from. I guess God just sends it to me, but I wrote about four poems and a couple of them were about this girl Amanda for Valentine's Day. And the other ones are kind of just about how people are confused in life and living the wrong way and not going in the right direction. What gives you hope and courage, Aiden? Well, my view on life is we were put here to live together in peace, not to judge or hold grudges. And I think once we pass on, it's just eternal love for, for everybody. And it's just another world we cannot imagine. And I know that in your condition, a lot of kids your age don't live to be as old as 18, going on yeah. 19. Yeah. Um, a lot of kids usually die before they're one, just because of breathing problems and organ problems. And uh, I was predicted to die at the age of four. But I'm 18 now, so I guess I'm wrong. What What has been, been your rock that you feel like has gotten you by through each year, would you say? Um, I guess my family. I just try to live my life as good as I can and help people out and just love. <laughs> well, I think your poems are actually quite brilliant. Is there one in particular that you would like that I can read to everybody? Um, how about any easy? Okay. I would read it, but I don't have it memorized right now. <laughs> That's great. I can read it for you. Um, it ain't easy. It ain't easy living life with so many restrictions. Who knows what happens next? You can't make any accurate predictions. It ain't easy to stop loving someone because you have to. Things just don't match up when she's a butterfly and you're a statue. It ain't easy in this world growing with evil and despise, brainwashed people and government lies. You can't live through the devil that seduces you. Live only through the one that produces you. It ain't easy to think about the future holds. This earth is cracking and will soon begin to fold. Mother Nature's breath is getting shallow and wheezy, but hey, that's life. It ain't easy. 
That's brilliant. And Thank that was you. something recent that you thought of when yes, you were in hospital? This is my most recent one I wrote. So, yeah. Um, and you like to be on your computer. Yes, yeah, pretty much my life is computers. It's video games and uh, I've learned a little bit about designing websites. But uh, I'm trying to put that on pause for right now. Just because I've not been able to sit up too long because of my blood clot. So I'll probably continue to learn some of that when I get better. Mm -hmm. Now, usually oh, you can sit yeah. in a wheelchair and you can, it's electric, you can drive that thing around? Yeah, it's electric and it's, a, it's actually a special mold to my body because I have scoliosis mm -hmm. and I have to kind of lean to the left a little bit to sit up. And uh, so they made me a special mold with my seat and everything. And it's actually new new batteries, and insurance won't pay for it. Uh oh. Five hundred bucks, so we gotta figure something out for that. Wow. It still drives and everything, but it's just uh, it don't charge. It stays well. Okay. So one last question: How do you feel about your father and his music and all the great things that are happening with him right now? Well, I think everything finally started to happen for him after a long time. He's really worked hard at it, and he's at the top of his peak right now, and he's got a great band behind him, and a great family behind him, and things are just falling into place for him. So, Aiden, what words do you have to say in closing to the people out there who are going to see this video? Um, I'll just like tell everybody I'll be writing a book sometime in my life. I don't know how long it'll take, but you'll enjoy it when it does come out. And I'll be making a book for my poem soon. And I just want to tell everybody in their life, try not to hurt people.